All right, I think we're good. Hi guys. Hi everybody. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. This is a first for us. So yeah. we are so excited, you guys. Um, you won't believe my morning. I live in an apartment building, you guys, and the fire alarm just went off like 20 minutes ago. I'm a little bit disheveled right now, but everybody's safe. We're all good. And, you know, usually the devil comes in right before something amazing is about to happen. So this is going to be an amazing webinar. I'm so excited that you guys are here. Um, I'm Kim Chipak, you guys. I'm an Ambassador Diamond. It's the first time I get to say that. I just went Ambassador in June. Um, and my best friend, Brielle, right here just went presidential in June as well. We promoted together. So much fun. Um, but we're excited because this topic today is right up our alley. Um, with staying consistent, Brielle's the queen of consistency, even better than I am, and just mass enrolling with host to post. So anyways, um, when I got started, you guys, I was 22, 23, I don't know, I was about to graduate college, had no specific direction as to what I wanted to do in terms of career, no passion for one thing or another. Um, but, you know, that's when this opportunity fell in my lap. And now, five, five and a half years later, um, just living a life, knowing that I was made for more when I found this opportunity and now being just able to fulfill it in my 20s and do so many amazing things. So Brielle, I'd love for you to introduce yourself too. Hi guys, my name is Brielle. I am 25 and I am from New Jersey. Um, I started this business when I was 21 years old. I was going into my senior year in college and I had no clue what I wanted to do with my life post-graduation. I was a psychology major and I always knew like I wanted to help people in some way, shape or form. Um, I was also very interested in like fitness in general. I'm a group fitness instructor on the side. So when this opportunity came into my life, I was like, wow, this seems cool, right? Like maybe use this as a way to work around my busy college schedule. Um, and it just so happened that I fell in love with the business once I graduated. And I was like, oh my gosh, like being able to travel and like do all these fun things. Um, now here I am three years later and I want this, you know, to share this opportunity with as many people as I possibly can because it's just been so much fun. I've always, you know, been someone that said I always wanted to do what I love and I found it here with it work so I don't know if you want to pop up the income disclosure chart too because yeah like Kim said it's so crazy last month um we both promoted together and it was seriously so much fun I hit presidential and Kim went ambassador so there it is seriously yeah, we are the so best <laughs> We are so proud of this income disclosure statement, you guys. It just shows how much opportunity really is on the table for everybody. So we like to use this loud and proud. Um, and I think it really also does show so many people out there what we have to offer. And so anyways, let's hop into the really good stuff because um, we have a lot of content to share with you guys today. Just regarding host to post, obviously, I've been loving watching these webinars, learning so much um, from all these amazing top leaders. So it really is an honor to get to share our best tips in terms of how to not just use host to post as um, a platform to just go nuts in this business, but also to mass enroll, like not just use it, but use it and use it a lot and use it a lot, a lot. I love seeing our team in the chat, by the way. I see everybody yeah. pop it up in the They're chat. Awesome. <laughs> Makes me a little bit more comfortable. Okay, awesome. So you guys, since Brielle has popped into this business, um, she has been like a silent killer, honestly. Like she has been in the shadows doing her own thing, staying in her own lane. Um, and I always knew that she would be a top leader in this company. And the main reason why I saw that in her right from the beginning was because of her consistency. Um, and so when you just pair consistency with something that works, you know, when you're copying the right cats and just being a sponge and learning from so many top leaders and you just stay consistent with what's working with, which is post to post right now, um, you know, you're, you're bound to have an explosion. So I really honor um, and look up to Brielle a lot in, in regards to not just her work ethic, but just staying consistent and keeping it simple, um, not never overcomplicating it. So we're kind of going to break this webinar up into two parts. We're going to first talk about how we mass enroll. Um, and then we're going to talk about just like how to schedule your days and how to keep yourself accountable um, with being consistent with those income producing activities. So, which 
is host to post. That's what we're talking about today. So if um, the first thing I have on my list to talk about is for those people that just don't really know where to start, like they've been hearing that host to post is where it's at right now, but they don't know where to start um, or how to even gain traction to become consistent with it because they feel like they have not really even started with it yet. So if you were talking to a newbie right now, Bray, what would you, what would you tell them to do? Like how would they get started with just getting a lot of people in their funnel so that they can get host to post up and running? Honestly, just ask you guys, like, don't be afraid to just go out there and ask people. Like the first thing I have my newbies do is literally just ask people to host a post. It's literally that simple guys. And you know, once you get your newbies you know, started and comfortable with that right out of the gate, it's going to become normal for them because they're already used to doing that daily. And if you show them how to break that down throughout their day, you know, let's say they're a mom and they can't necessarily like sit there and message all day long because they have their babies with them, you know, tell them, okay, let's wake up a half hour early and send out a batch of messages to get some who's to post up first thing in the morning before the baby wakes up while you're making your coffee or whatever. Um, and keep it simple for them and, you know, send them step by step the message, the exact messages that you use. And then that way it's going to start to duplicate through your team. And it just, it feels natural and simple to them because they started doing it right in their first day so that's really yeah. that simple <laughs> yeah you I, I think with anything you just have to start just like you did with this business guys like you you took that leap of faith it was a little bit uncomfy but you did it you know and now I'm sure you're all very happy that you made that decision so just trust us and know that you just have to start something else that we do too um, to get people up and running and getting people interacting um, and wanting to host a post are what we call bait posts and um, what you can do is put like a debate out there, like asking for a friend or trying to settle a debate. Do you prefer Starbucks coffee or Dunkin'? I love this one because it actually gets the coffee lovers intrigued so that you can talk to them about our, our products and our skinny brew and our keto coffee. But, you know, just getting people starting to comment on things. And then once that interaction starts going, you can ask those people too. Um, a recent one that I did was, oh, if you could pick your favorite flavor ice pop, what would it be? Comment it below and you will get um, an entry into our giveaway. Um, you know, because we do the giveaways too to get people to host a post. So commenting and messaging like and interacting on those posts have been huge just to start. Um, but I know that, you know, sometimes it can be overwhelming because you don't know which product to use for host to post. And sometimes you get like host, once you see results, you guys are gonna get like host to post addicted and host to post happy. And it's just gonna, you're gonna wanna keep doing it. So it can get confusing because you, some people they like to try different products and see what works. Like maybe they'll do a hydrate host to post and then they'll do a wraps host to post later on. And they'll just like spit out all different products. What I encourage you guys to do is really just pick one or two, one or two products that you want to have people host to post and do it in massive amounts. Cause that's what we're talking about. Massive enrolling. Like you want to make sure that you're putting as much content out there about one or just two products. And then once you're getting conversation with people, you can always upsell them or, you know, just talk to them about somebody about their goals and maybe another product would best fit them. So I, that would be my tip. Definitely. Um, you know, keep, Keep it simple. Don't be all over the place. Pick one or two products that you want to get out there um, that are very versatile and and use those. So um, I know on another webinar, I forget who said it, but they were talking about how they stay organized with their host to post in terms of collections. You want to talk about that a little bit? Yeah, and, and how just to touch on what yeah. you just said too. I just thought I saw something in the chat too, and it made me think of something. So someone had written that they. Um, where they're like they're getting those basically is what they said um and so what i want you guys to remember with that too is that yes we all get no's <laughs> it's normal to get no's the no's are going to get you closer to your yeses but it's the consistency that makes the difference because if you just you know give up after your first day like okay you asked maybe 20 people on your first day and maybe you get 20 no's. That's okay. It's happened to me. I've had days like that too. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm a fitness instructor. So I think of it in, in terms of like gym sometimes, you know, if you only go to the gym for one week, 
you're probably not going to, you know, get crazy results right away. Um, but don't just shut off on your consistency just because you're not getting instant gratifying results. That's what the difference between someone like maybe can, that if I would have, you know, quit on my consistency right out of the gate, I was a late bloomer in the business guys. Like I didn't go Ruby until almost my first year in the business. And the thing that switched for me was first, I gave up after I got nose in my first year. Um, then once I made that difference and I was like, okay, I'm just going to ask a little bit more people. That little bit was the difference for me. Um, and, you know, going off of what Kim was just saying too, with the organization thing, um, I organize that in a way so that way my brain is clear and I know exactly what I need to get done in order to stay consistent. Um, there is a way if you guys aren't aware of this yet where you can literally just save your host of posts that you're getting up daily. If you click the little dot, dot, dot in the top right corner of their post, so simple, you click it and then you can save it into your collection. So that way you're not like screenshotting it and trying to go back and be like, oh no, like I remember getting a host to post up, but I can't even find the people that had commented on it. So go back, save it in your collections. And that way you can keep yourself organized with the way that, you know, you're, you're getting all these potentials. You don't want to lose the potentials that you're getting from your host to post from all your consistent work. Um, and last month, I don't know if you want me to touch on this, Kim, like how I save my collections. Yeah. So last month, actually the last two months I was pushing for Prez. So I actually did it in a way where I had my, I sent myself little reminders constantly about my promotion. You know, I had like little post-it notes over my wall, but one of the things that I did was in my collections, I saved it as post to post to presidential. I, I wrote host to post to prez. Um, so that way, every single time I got a host to post up, it was like a little reminder to myself, okay, like this host to post is going to be the next one that blows up and gets me one step closer to presidential, one step closer to my goal. So even if you're just going for Ruby, you can save your collections as host to post to Ruby or whatever, host to post to 400 club, whatever you want it to be save it to your goal. And then that way, every single time you get a host to post up, you're like, oh my gosh, like, that's awesome. I just, you know, got one step closer to my goal for this month. Yeah, those, and I'm so happy that you mentioned that when we were talking, when we were prepping for this, because I feel like, no, I know that this business is so about where your head's at and those little reminders you know she said to post this and i know it doesn't translate into monetary value or an enrollment right off the bat but you will be surprised that if you keep say if you keep see, seeing your collection that says host to post to ruby or host to post to whatever your goal is right now um it's that yeah it's exactly what you just said i don't even have to repeat it it's that little reminder that i'm getting so much closer like i'm manifesting that these are going to be the host of posts that are going to help me reach my goal instead of going into your work and not being inspired and not being, um, not being in a good headspace, you know, and, and just thinking that, okay, I'm going to get this post up, but nobody's going to comment. Like when you're thinking like that, you're good, that's going to happen. So, um, little mindset plug right there. It's, it's really important and it really does have to do with why we mass enroll. Um, so, Love that, love that, love that. Um, something else that we were talking about too um, was getting people while they're hot is so important. Um, you know, making sure that if you are putting out host to posts, you're getting to the people that are commenting same day, if not like same hour or minute, <laughs> because the faster you get to those people, um, the more like their interest meter. I would say like their interest meter in the product or whatever they commented on is like at 100 peak. Like they're so interested when they comment. So, and as time goes by, their interest sometimes does die down a little bit and they don't become as urgent. So um, making sure that you're really urgent with getting to the people who are commenting, friend requesting them immediately, getting in their inbox immediately, showing them before and afters, corporate approval before and afters, all the time, like just throwing it at them right from the beginning and catching them while it's hot is very, very important. Um, and then Brielle, you were talking about how that goes with follow-up too. Like how often do you follow up with people? Because you, you enroll like crazy. Like sometimes, um, 
Yeah. So the last two months, obviously I was going for a big promotion. So I was like, you know what? Like, it's okay to follow up the same day. Why not? I would follow up with people if they didn't message. I messaged them first thing in the morning. If they didn't message me back by, you know, I gave them until maybe they got out of work, like 5 30, 6 o'clock around that time, I would send a second batch of follow-ups and I would literally just say something as simple as, did I catch you at a bad time? Or even sometimes I love saying, oh my gosh, like my phone's been acting up. Did my last message go through? Like, not sure. <laughs> so, you know, you catch them and sometimes maybe they were just driving to work when you followed up with them first thing in the morning. So don't overthink things and get discouraged if maybe they don't answer the first time. Where some people, you know, they don't wanna tell you they don't have the money right away. But then when you follow up with them again, them again, then they tell you that and may, then maybe you can turn them into a distributor. So, you know, it can't hurt. Don't feel bad. I have people that thank me sometimes for thinking of them again because of my my follow up message. Um, and also like Thermofy X was my main product that I used host to post for. And we just reformulated that product. It's a hot product. Clearly, everyone wants to get their hands on it. And that's what I'm telling people too. like I'm telling people in my follow ups, I'm placing orders right now for people that want to kickstart their results for the summer. Like, do you want me to include yours? And, you know, if they're like, oh, I just want to think about it. Don't let them think about it, guys, because they're going to want, want to get their hands on it. I tell them in a voice message, I say, listen, sorry, guys, I'm Italian, so I talk with my hands like I have a phone in my hand right now. I don't. But I say, listen, I, um, you know, this product just released a couple weeks or reformulated a couple weeks ago you know you're gonna want to get your hands on it you know you're gonna want to try this because these results are already starting to fly in i'll send them some results pictures um i have like six corporate approved results pictures that i will just blow people up with don't be afraid to send them you know a ton because they want to see those results and they want to get them and once they see them they're like oh okay yeah i want that too so you tell them, you know, this is this is a hot product right now. You know, it's flying off the shelves. Clearly, you're going to want to get your hands on it, too. Um, and once you tell them that and put that urgency and they hear your voice and how excited you are about the product, then they're in. It's a done deal. You got them like they're excited as you are because they can hear it in your voice. Yeah. And it's all about energy, you guys. Like it really is if you are proud to share before and after pictures then your energy is going to be in that and you're going to be like seriously check this out like there's no perfect script um for sealing the deal when it comes to just like i think excitement trumps any perfect script like any day and so if you truly are so excited to share this with them and help them reach their goals they're just inevitably inevitably gonna be contagious to like it's just gonna they're gonna catch on to that and your excitement and your assurance and I think that's why you know sometimes I saw in the chat somebody said like I just got started it's a little bit hard right now but it's only hard if you if you choose for it to be hard you know just you have to make that decision I'm excited to get my posts up today I'm so excited to help people like Start your day with an intention and say, I am going to do this. I'm literally going to help five people today reach their goals because that is what this business is about is helping other people. And when you put that energy out there, people just start flying in like it's crazy. Um, so following up same day, you know, um, if you're getting your host posts up in the morning, you're talking to people in the morning, definitely following up with them that night, um, catching them while it's hot. Um, you know, making sure you're from requesting them and messaging them as soon as possible um, and just your mindset. So that was weird. I don't know what just happened. Um, what else did we have here? So somebody else, perfect segue. Somebody else in the chat was like, well, what do I do if they don't sign up as a customer or a distributor? Um, and we're definitely going to get into talking about how we sign distributors with host, a lot of distributors with host to post too. We have a lot to cover. We have a lot to cover, but um <laughs> This was actually the next thing that we had written down was how to turn a potential or somebody that even says no in the conversation um, into host to posts. Um, if they are not on, like, if they are just like, no, I can't afford it right now, or no, I don't think this is a good fit for me, or maybe catch me down the road, I'll catch you on the next sale, or whatever it is that they say, we immediately turn those people into host to posts. So we'll voice message them and just say, um, hey friend, like totally fine. I understand. Although I really do want to help you 
you know, reach your wellness goals, um, or I really do want to help you make that extra money. Um, it's all good. You know, I still love connecting with you on, on Facebook. And, you know, I was wondering while I had you real quick, would you want to, um, put up a post for me about, about, um, product or opportunity and in return, I'll get you entered into my giveaway. Um, and people, and then it's just like, all, it's just a full circle of you always have people to host a post for you. So even when we get no's in conversations, that doesn't defeat us because we're like, perfect. Well, they have 500 friends on Facebook. Perhaps they have at least 10 friends that would be down to do this, you know, challenge this 90 day challenge or, or, or make money with me or whatever the case may be. So um, you can even, if you're not comfortable doing voice text right off the bat, we are going to talk about that. But um, typing something up like that is fine too. Just turning them, just know that even if you get a no, that doesn't mean that they can't serve a different purpose for you. You know, maybe they'll even win your giveaway. You don't know. So um, that's something else that we do um, is we don't really take no as a loss. We, we kind of use it to our advantage and, and just uh, capitalize on that conversation that we already have going on. So we do that a lot. That's how we get a lot of host to post up. Um, what else we got? I was going to say about that too is sometimes I get a lot from people. I'll, I'll hear like, oh, I have no luck or I, I keep getting no's. Like I don't have any, like I don't, I'm not getting, you know, the luck to get host to post up. I'm like, what are you talking about luck? <laughs> like there is no luck in host to post or like getting no's or what yeses. Like it's consistency guys. Like, and it's just shifting your mindset to what Kim was saying, like turning that no into a, a form of yes. From whether it be turning them into a host to post, turning them into a distributor, maybe, you know, thinking again about what products, like if, let's say you started with a little bit of a bigger pack, you can turn that into a smaller pack. So just shift your mindset and turn that no into yes. And stop saying that you're not lucky, <laughs> you know, that I am, trust me, I'm not lucky. <laughs> I, I do not have very good luck in life, but <laughs> Post the post, it's just consistency, okay? And that's, it's really that simple. Like your small steps will lead to the yeses and shifting that mindset to taking your nose to a yes. Yeah, I love that so much. Um, I, I, I love that so much. It, this business has nothing to do with luck. It's just taking these tools and applying them and staying consistent with them. Um, the other cool thing about host to post guys is that maybe you have a bad day with your host posts. Like, let's say you get your 10 up and maybe they were just the 10 wrong people. Um, we still use those new friends that we get to our advantage by using other outlets on Facebook to enroll. So say you get your 10 up in the morning or in the afternoon and say you get a couple, you know, hits on it, a couple new friends, nobody said yes, but by posting on your stories and your, your feed about the product that they might have commented about, that's why you want to stay consistent with just like one or two products. Because like Brielle was saying, if it is a thermal by X host to post and said, maybe they said, nah, not right now, I'm, I'm okay. Well, maybe if they saw your story and had another indirect reminder or it's like an indirect follow-up without having to actually follow up with them your new friends see your stuff first your stories your posts everything so bump it up there you know what i mean like talk about thermophyte x or share another results photo that you might not have shared with them or go live about it you know and talk about it on your page because those new friends that were interested didn't just become uninterested. They're always going to be interested in reaching their goals, but maybe they just needed to hear it in another form. So that's why it's really important though. Although we are talking about and zeroing in on host to post today, use all the other things, all the other features that the app has for you so that they can get reminders. So, um, you know, I know at the, when we were pushing in the past six, we've been pushing for a long time, but in the past 60 days, when we were determined on another level, um, we were going live every day talking about the, whatever sale was going on, or just the product in general, pulling up the product info sheet and, you know, even just reading off it. Cause we didn't know all the facts, but we had it in front of us. So just them hearing 
because you're not going to give all that in your description, just he them hearing it in another way or another time. You'll be surprised. Those, those new friends, that new fresh network, that new audience that you have that are all potentials now are going to be following and they will eventually. So your harvest might not be immediate and that's okay, but you have to stay consistent with the other things too. Um, yeah, I love that, Rachel. Uh, people watching your stories. Exactly, exactly. Okay, so um, I guess that, that covered my next point. I was just going to say that posting at night about the product is so good when you're doing your host post in the morning, right? Yeah, check your Facebook actives too, because I always look and I'm like, oh my gosh, I have so many people active right now. So I'm going to go live right now after I got a bunch of host to post like the couple days prior and seal the deal with these people because it's the same as voice message. If they see your face and you're talking about it in person, it's a lot different than just sending like, you know, a, te a text and pre-written or whatever it is. Um, people hear you and your testimony of it, you're making the coffee or whatever it is in front of them and they can see, you know, your face and that you're genuine, you're a real person, you're not just someone behind the computer screen. And trust me guys, it was hard for me at first. I can definitely say like, Kim can say it too. Like I was probably one of the shyest girls on our team when I first joined. Um, I remember like I did my senior thesis for college when I first joined the business and I had like no nails left afterwards. So even like on my first Zoom, when Kim had me leave my first power hour, I was so nervous. Doing this is so out of my comfort zone too. So don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone with stuff like that because it is funny. Like I got my potentials from the host to post. Then I used the live video to see that they see that I'm a real person and I spilled my super reds all over Kim's counter one time I was over her house but I got all these customers from it because they were like oh my gosh that was such a funny video and they were cracking up and I was like oh my gosh do I take this thing down it was so embarrassing I spilled the reds everywhere and people loved it so don't be afraid to just be yourself mess up sometimes you know you don't have, it doesn't have to be perfect because that's what's going to help seal the deal with all of these potentials you are bringing in from host to post is, you know, you start with the host to post. That's like the behind the scenes work. And then they come on your page and that's your platform to, for them to see you and for you to seal the deal with these potentials. So maybe they're not going to sign up right away. That's okay. Then use your, use your Facebook. That's your platform where they're going to seal, you're going to seal the deal with them. Yeah, and uh, it just in other fashion, stealing the deal. Um, I forgot, and I didn't even write this in my notes, but I'm going to blow your minds for a second, you guys. So you're literally going to get off this and, be, and check all of your collections and all your old hosts to post. When people post for you, too, it's just like a little sidebar here, um, make sure you check their privacy setting on the post because sometimes you'll see, okay, so it'll say, like, it'll say Kim Chipak, and then sometimes it'll say, like, their location or something, like, when you make a new post, and then there's a privacy icon right there, and it will either have a globe, which means that the post that they, the post they made for you is public. It's out there for anybody to see. If it has, like, two little shadows of people, that means that they set it to friends only, so that means that they posted their their status out to just their friends. Well, sometimes you got some sneakies out there and are posting their custom privacy to, to they're posting the post as custom privacy. And you'll see, you see this gear, you'll see a gear symbol um, next to the post. Well, that means that they have a custom privacy setting that probably nine times out of 10 just means that they're only sharing it with you so that you see the post, they get their entry, but the host of post doesn't serve its purpose. So if that stuff kind that of, we catch those all the times. So, um, I just, I'm kind about it. I go, I say, Hey, I saw that you had this. And I always screenshot the gear. I'm like, I see you did a custom privacy setting you know, if you wouldn't mind just changing that to public or friends only, then I'll get your entry in. So just a little sidebar. I wish I had known that way sooner. And <laughs> don't get angry in your heart if you go back and you see all of them are custom. So um, yes, good to know. Good. I'm glad some people didn't know that because I feel like not everybody does. Okay. Um, so let's kind of switch gears. Actually, actually, let's talk about signing distributors because a lot of people are asking that in the chat. Um, 
So what we like to do with signing distributors is asking the people that are posting for you. Um, do you want to give an example of that? Yeah. So we talked about briefly like the debate type of post. So you might hear your leader or enroller call it um, the partnering up post to post. So I actually, in a way, use that to get distributors, even though it's not necessarily a distributor host to post, because people love to debate. They love to, you know, drop hearts or whatever. They, they want an entry for the giveaway. So I pay close attention to who I send that post to. I give it to someone that I think has a pretty good network. Um, that looks like they could be a potential distributor themselves. So I'm smart about it first. Um, and then I look and clearly their post is blowing up as I expected. So I message that person and I'm gonna send them a quick voice message and I'm gonna say like, hey, oh my goodness, you know, I noticed that your giveaway post is blowing up and I would hate to be the one making money from your network when you could be doing that. Like, would you be interested in, in doing what I do? Um, and I just keep it so simple. And you could even um, you could even send a recording to yourself in Facebook. Like if you're one of those people that are shy to send voice messages, what I did at the beginning of this month, because I had a lot of host to post blow up end of last month from my promotion, I looked back and wrote down the names of like 20 people that had their host to post blow up from the end of last month. Um, and I recorded myself a voice message in Facebook Messenger, and you can forward that same voice message to 20 people if you wanted to. So I went through one the first of the month, and I forwarded that to 20 people and got distributors from it. So you can, you can do that, and you can literally send the same exact voice message, obviously just say like, hey friend, keep it general or something like that. Um, and then you can literally turn your host of posters into distributors and you didn't even do a distributor host to post but you've had that host to post blow up and why not you know use their network and now have them become a part of your team too yeah and i think if you guys aren't voice messaging i think it's just time like <laughs> let's have a come together there's only i don't know how many people are on here but let's just come in real close we'll get real close it's okay. Let's just start right now. Like, let's just start right now. Make the decision to start voice messaging right now. Even if you have to practice and send yourself a couple voice messages, um, it goes back to that energy. There is no perfect message for asking people, you guys. Um, but we, it's our job to do it. I wish that somebody had asked me when, like, on my 18th birthday. There, I just think of how much more or how faster I could have been successful if somebody had asked me, you know, instead of it just landing in my lap and God's time and grateful, but you know, it's our jobs to ask. And sometimes people don't think that they can capitalize on their network, not in a slimy way, but just in a way where they could build a business um, and they don't see how simple it is. So when they are posting and they're getting comments on it, um, it kind of does boost their confidence. I have people come to me all the time that are like, I just got three comments. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize, I didn't realize that people would be interested. And I'm like, yeah, this is how simple it is for to, to be a network marketer. This is, how, this is social selling. You do it all the time. I just looked at your last post and it was a picture of you, I don't know, doing whatever. And it's you are- service. People do it all the time or getting their nails done. You're promoting for those people and people don't even realize it. So when you simplify it for them, they're like, you know, you could be doing this too. They're like, oh yeah, you're right. And they've been watching you most likely. So it's, you know, they're already kind they already kind of know you. And then they're just, you're opening the door. Cause some people don't even think that they would be good at something like this. I know I didn't think I would be good at something like this, but then it just took someone asking me and learning a little bit more about it to go and take the leap. So don't feel like, you know, people aren't messaging you because your posts aren't good enough or whatever it is. You're not who's to posting enough. Maybe you just have to ask them. Maybe they're thinking about it and they never really thought they were going to be good at it. Something like this, but doing things like this and messaging people, having people host a post for you. And then they see, Oh my gosh, this really is that simple. I just did that post and got 30 comments on it. Then it, yeah. it like opens up a light bulb for them and they yeah. see that it is that simple. You know how I know when somebody would be good at this or they would, I don't know, just an easier person to ask is when 
they're asking me, should I be messaging these people and giving them info? Because that happens sometimes too. And I'm like, no, girl, I got it. I got it. It's all good. But I mean, we could tag team this. Like if you'd rather. So in my voice message, I would say, um, you know, I saw that you, you're, hey, I know this is really left field. Um, and I typically wouldn't do this. I always say that. I typically wouldn't do this. Mm-hmm. But um, you have quite a few comments on this post. And I'd be doing you a disservice. I always say that I would be doing you a disservice if I didn't at least ask. You can tell me to get lost and say, absolutely not. That's fine. My feelings won't be hurt, but I'd rather you make commission on all these sales that you're, that I'm about to get from this post. Like, wouldn't you rather help your friends than me? And we'll do it together. Um, And then there, you know, when, when you can be relatable like that and just let them know, like, this is not like a copy paste message. I'm not trying to like recruit you. I hate that. I, I can't stand that word. I'm not trying to recruit you. I'm literally showing you what's possible just by putting up a simple status like this. Um, And when they hear that you're trying to help them and what is possible for them, like it's a mutual thing, um, I feel like they're a little bit more open to learning. We do that all the time, all the time. Like when when Brielle's at my house end of month, every month, like she'll stay here for a couple days. We can't even, and I live in a studio apartment and we can't like we can't both be doing end of month together. It's almost so hard because we're like voice message, voice message. And like, okay, you done. Okay. I'm going like, we just voice message like crazy. So, okay. That's our tips on how to sign distributors. Can you think of anything else off the top of your head or we good on that? I mean, the only other thing I would add is when people can't afford the products from your hosted post, you can also turn them into distributors. So you have two options. You can turn them into, you know, another hosted post and maybe that will build confidence. Sometimes I like to do that first. So it builds confidence. So then they, they host the post for me, it blows up and then they're like, oh wow. And then I message them and I'll be like, Hey, I know you are interested in the product, but maybe you can't afford it right now. Um, would you be interested in the opportunity? I noticed your post blew up. Um, you would be so good at what I do. And they're like, oh wait, what is it that you do? So then it kind of opens the door for that. So, you know, don't just take, oh, I can't afford it right now as a no, again, shift your mindset to something different and that will help you open the door to maybe leading into a distributor or leading into another host of posts. Yeah, I love that so much. Um, love, love, love. Okay, so we're kind of just gonna put like a break in the, in the webinar right now and everybody take a sip of water. Everything's <laughs> it's just like me and you are hanging out here. It's yeah, fun. I know, it's, it's Everything. fun. It's fun. <laughs> But let's talk about that. I'm so excited to talk about this and kind of just wrap things up with just talking about how you and I stay consistent and how we keep our teams, most importantly, how we keep our teams really consistent with using post to post. Um, well, first you just have to decide. You just have to decide that this is going to, this is going to work for you because corporate wouldn't put out a whole week or 10 days or whatever of trainings on host to post if it didn't work you guys have got to get that out of your head it's not that it's just not working for you you're not being consistent enough with it and so one of the things um that we came up with a couple months ago i would say like around conference you know february time is we started a group chat with a couple people who were really serious about taking their business to the next level um, and just a few, you know, I wouldn't do more than six people. Um, I would say, yeah, I wouldn't do more than six people. But what I did was I went on that app called Over, where you can create content and um, made a cute little graphic for us. And we had an accountability chat for our 10 host to posts. Well, we started with doing like five and then we're like, this is too simple. We got to eight. And then when corporate was like, do 10, we were like, okay, we're going to do 10. This is going to be crazy, but we're going to do it. Um, I made this little graphic with a couple teammates of ours that agreed, a couple of our leaders, and it just said 10 hosts to post. And again, here's that little plug, that little reminder. I'm so embarrassed. My nails are not done right now. Um, so embarrassed. Look, I keep looking at them. I'm like, this is, a, this is, a, this is an issue. Um, I put ambassador team on there because every day I was being reminded like this is 
a step closer. Like you're getting there. This is going to take you there. And I even put the date that I wanted to hit. It was May 25th. Didn't happen, but it's another story for another time. And we have all of our names right here. You don't have to use over if you don't want to. You can do it in your notes section. Doesn't matter. Doesn't have to be fancy. And we put this in the group chat. And every time you got your 10 host of posts up, you went and you crossed your name off. And then you also sent your screenshots of your 10 host of posts. We don't want any liars out there because it's very easy to say you did 10, 10 host of posts and more, way more fulfilling when you're like, I did it. Here's my proof. So we would be crossing off right in Messenger app. You can just click the tool where you can draw on the picture. Boom, done. And if one person or two people didn't get their host to post up and it was like nine o'clock at night, you best believe we were in there and we were like, where are you at, Bree? Like, where, what, what's happening? What, what's going on? How many left do you have? And we just took that group so seriously and something about just crossing your names off and just being satisfied at the end of the day when you had all five of those names crossed off we like celebrated we're like all right I'm pour my glass of wine I feel good about this we had a great day so that was one thing that we um that's one thing that we do to keep ourselves consistent. And now all these beautiful ladies are leaders now and they do it with their teams and they're doing it with their teams and they're doing it with their teams. And now we just have this movement of, you can't not get your tent up because there's gonna be somebody asking you where you're at. Um, so that is, that's a great tip for just keeping yourself accountable for staying consistent. Um, how do you, I, I, like, I feel like I almost need to know the answer to this question, truly. Like, how do you feel like you keep yourself consistent? Um, even on days where you're busy or have family events or anything. I feel like definitely doing that accountability with my team now is really important for me to get up my post to post because I have to lead from the front because, you know, if you're doing that with a couple of your leaders, and I'm not doing my host post. Even right after, you know, I hit Prez, I was like, okay, I need to go and like I need to get my host to post up still, you know, because if I let up, then my team's not going to continue their momentum. So, you know, every day I'm like, okay, I gotta, I gotta wake up early. If I'm, you know, if I have plans for the day, whatever it is, I live down the shore. So yeah, like I love to go to the beach and stuff. So I'm gonna wake up early, get my host to post done first thing in the morning, show my team that I have them done even though I have plans for the day. And that helps, that alone helps hold me accountable leading from the front for my team and showing them that I'm doing the same things that they are. Um, but also just like Kim said, it is gratifying just to like check it off the list and knowing that you did your time. like that's a good feeling to know that you accomplished that. And it really isn't that hard guys. Don't overcomplicate it for yourself. Like I made this into a routine for myself. Um, I read a, a quote today that I messaged Kim about and it, it, it says that routines trigger your mind that it's game time. So I got myself so used to this routine of getting up my 10 every single day that now it's just a habit for me. Like I used to set myself alarms to get up, you know, certain amount of messages to be able to get up my 10. Now I'm just like, oh, okay, I have a quick five minutes here. Time to send out like a quick little batch of messages, ask some people to host a post. Um, and eventually like those, those things that you're doing daily, setting those alarms, they're gonna start to become habits. And then, and then it's constantly gonna be game time for you. Like now I just feel used to doing that every day. I'm used to checking off my 10 every single day. It's natural to me. Like there's not, a, even if it's, you know, sometimes Kim and I are up till one o'clock in the morning on Zoom, just chilling out. And she's like, bro, you didn't get up your last two. Like, come on, let's go. And we'll stay up together until we get up our 10 to hold each other accountable. So find yourself a friend like that too, that is gonna, you know, give you that little nudge that you need. Um, maybe, you know, maybe the accountability partner that you have right now isn't holding you as accountable as they should be. So don't be afraid to like look around for people that are on the same level as you and that are going to push you to create those routines into habits and get them done every single day. Yeah, I remember like it'd be Bachelor Monday, like we're right, we're waiting. <laughs> and I didn't have a great day with host to post. And I remember like 
me and Brielle hanging out and even if it was on Zoom and it'd be eight, nine o'clock and I only had two up. And then she'd be like, are you, are you doing it? Like, are you doing it? And I can't say no, like, I'm not going to say no. So when you just make that decision, it's crazy. It's crazy. You'll, you'll, once you truly make it a decision in like your heart of hearts that you're doing it, um, things will just start. I don't, I don't know how to put it, but things like things will just, your mind will start unlocking ways to get those hosts to post up and different creative ways and asking people to maybe do a giveaway one instead of a product one or an opportunity one, boom, you tap into their network, you're going crazy with their network. And then right there you have your, your 10. So um, just make that decision that it is important. If you want to be successful, host to post is so important, you guys. And I was going to say one more thing, but because it's not on my notes, it slipped my mind. Um, super unprofessional me, but I had it. Oh my goodness, I had it. I lost it. All right. Well, that's just me being a human. So you guys don't have to have it all together to be successful at this. But overall, you guys, consistency is the key to success. Um, one of the best things that I've learned in this business is time plus consistency equals breakthrough, period. That's just, that's just a fact. You know, if you stay consistent with things for a certain amount of time, you are going to have that breakthrough, but you also have to have the confidence that it does work. It might not have worked for you this morning. It might not have worked for you yesterday, but if you just take these tips and continue to plug away with them every single day and copy the right cats and just be a sponge. Like I'm so proud of all of you guys that are on the zoom on a beautiful Sunday afternoon, like good for you, be that sponge, but that's not, that info is not going to do anything if you don't go out and apply it. And if you want to be a mass enroller, um, like Brielle is, I was just going to say something like Brielle, we call her, you guys, we call her Brielle the gazelle because <laughs> she just goes, like she just runs and nobody's stopping her. And, and, you know, I just challenge you guys to surround yourself with people that are going instead of kind of just sitting because this company deserves it. You know, you deserve it. Your families deserve it for you to take everything that we just gave you plug in the rest of the week and um and apply it so i wish that thought i was hoping that while i was closing up there that thought would come back but it didn't but anyways i'm so excited that this is our first situation to do for corporate together as an ambassador <laughs> a presidential it was so fun i want to do it again um and go out there and crush it use host to posts and you're gonna have be your break consistent, guys just be consistent like seriously host posts won't work if you're not consistent just remember that for real because you know like i said i my business changed the second that i started staying consistent with host to post and yours can too like maybe maybe you are like a late bloomer like i was but once you make that decision and you just start you know you just start that's literally it just start staying consistent and don't quit after the first two days when maybe you don't find a customer from your first two days awesome. because that is the worst thing you can do. Your harvest is probably on that third day. It's probably on that third day right after your first two days of being consistent where you're going to sign maybe two, three customers. So that is the biggest tip I can give is just don't quit before you know your harvest arrives. Stay consistent and continue that consistency throughout. 1000%. Well, I love you, friend. And I hate that we have to end this now, but you guys have a beautiful Sunday and I hope you learned a lot and go out and get it. Stay consistent. Bye, everybody. Bye, guys.